Hello Picker, Swamp Picker here. Week 23 of 2017 garage sale season. And this is my finds for Friday and Saturday. So let's start with Friday's finds. Only hit maybe three sales. Didn't really have much out there. I found this Easton baseball bat. You know, always look for the model number on the side. You know, I did scan it and all that. You know, brand new, I think it went for about $150. But I paid two bucks for it. So I'll make a little bit of money, maybe 30 plus 40, you know, $40, depending on what I can get. And another little trick also I do is put some ram wrap on the handles. So a couple of these baseball bats I have bought in the past, I mean, they really make your hands dirty and you ship it, you know, and all that, you know, stayed in there and need some new grip or something like that. But, you know, that keeps it from um, getting your hands all messed up. And also at the same sale, I found these polarized glasses, which are pretty cool. And all that maybe you know used 30 bucks 35 dollars i'm not sure quite yet but some of them get good money and all that and another little trick um in the past i bought items like this is the sunglass case I bought this maybe six months ago or something like that which will make it add a little value to the sunglasses being in the case because then they would be protected when it's shipped and i only paid 25 cents for it so add that to the sunglasses and it'll really help out and another item I found. Let's see. Let me pass that. It's this book. Found that Friday in a neighborhood sale. You know, not far from me down the road. It has like 1,300 pages on it. What's crazy when I scan the barcode, it shows like 150 bucks. But when you put it on like a PC computer, $45 and all that. But still, for a buck, you know, I can't go wrong with that. And that was on my Friday sale there. And all that okay for Saturday my first stop and all that I found this Nintendo 64 which is right down the road not far from maybe a mile and a half down the road from me this Nintendo 64 with two controllers and all that no I bought that and actually went came back to went to another cell and bought this here for 25 cents a Holly Davidson from Lincoln rent open the box up and all the parts were there and all that instructions and all sealed you know, it was crazy when I bought this printer and all that, it was actually in a Canon box. It felt pretty heavy and all that. I could see the styrofoam and the paper and all that, but, but I did not open it up. I always open it up, but I only paid two bucks for it. They had three dollars and offered two bucks for it. I don't even know if she knew what was in there. But when I got home, you know, and opened it up, you know, that night for the HP and all that. But like I said, for two bucks, I bought the printer and she threw in the um, Lincoln Mail. I should be able to make $15 off of that and all that so when i start you know i didn't buy this at the first sale but i remember it was a dreamcast so i checked it out and all that on my um, phone while i was in the parking lot at the second sale and all that and i went back and bought it and all that but you know i saw this the first time all these camera bags and really didn't you know mention it and all that and I actually threw a camera bag in when i bought the dreamcast and all that and they were acting like five dollars a piece but um, there were like 22 bags, and I got all 22 bags for 50 bucks. So maybe two dollars and 50 cents, or 65 cents on average. So I should do good with the camera bags, and all of them have the tags on them. All 22 you know, bags. So I, and they range from 24 to 29 on the average. And there's a couple in their camera shops actually selling those. And all that. And another item I bought right across the street. You know, it wasn't much. It's these shoes right here. And they're made by um, Red Wing and they are Irish Setter. And they're size 12, like boat shoes and all that. I just need to kind of clean all the rocks out and all that. You know, you can kind of see the rocks down there. Well, this one's a little bit cleaner because I kind of took, you know, a little pocket knife and all the rocks. But I just need to clean them, clean them up. Maybe 25 bucks on that. Maybe a little bit more, hopefully. And all that. Let's see what else I got. Okay. I think that's gonna be about it and all that. Say, like I said, I had four of these also in there and all that. But like, if you ever buy any of these right here, the little micro cassettes and all that, a plus of this would be able to have a couple of blank tapes to sell with it. So if you ever see it, a, these at a sale separate, buy them because it, that way if you ever buy one of these, find a micro cassette, you can have something to sell with it. And it doesn't add to the value and people like to buy them with the tapes because they know they can get them. But if they go buy this, you know, and don't have no tapes, you know, really um, no good. Okay, what else? That's about it. 
there. So I just want to thank everybody for watching. Hit the like button if you like it and all that, or if you got any good comments, leave them. You know, maybe to help me out or on the items you see. Um, remember, our show um, is not going to be Thursday. This Thursday night, but it's going to be Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. And right after we finish, Dwayne Hale is going to have his show um, at 8 o'clock. I'm pretty sure. So check it out. And that's Dwayne at Mothership Products. And all that. Thank you for watching. Bye.